Howdy people, I'm back with another video and today I wanted to share with you all my peel off method that I've been testing for like the last four or five months. It has allowed me to wear my acrylic sets for about a week, week and a half while still having an easy peel off removal method. And I think I wanna call this the rose peel off method. So let me know if you all um, end up trying this out and let me know what you think about it. I've really been loving this hack that I discovered. I want to share a new nail hack that I'm testing out. I wanna see if it works, you guys. So I want to apply an acrylic set to my nails, but I want to have easy removal process. Um, but I want them to still last about a week or so. I've been testing out this Maran Peel Off Base Coat, which I absolutely love. You guys know this is like my favorite Peel Off Base Coat. It is one that needs to be cured, by the way. I thought it would be interesting to try this underneath my acrylic set to see if I could still get my acrylic set to last, um, but also still be easy to remove. Now, I'm gonna be doing things slightly different with this. Typically, I don't prep my nails at all when I use this Peel Off Base Coat, but I'm gonna do a really slight prep to my nails. My natural nails have already been and um, prep as far as clipping the nails, you know, cleaning up the cuticle area, pushing back cuticles, cuticles, all of that. Um, I will leave the link to that video down in the description about how I get my nails to this point. Um, but from here moving forward, I want to show you all how I prep my nails to have easy removal underneath an acrylic application. Um, and this is my first time testing this method, so I hope it works. The first thing you'll need is a dehydrator. You can either use alcohol or you can go in with swipe. So swipe is from Young Nails. I really like using that. I'm gonna go with a lint-free wipe and just some good old alcohol right I'm gonna spray this wipe down and just clean all of the oils from my natural nail okay and this is going to create a nice dehydrated surface for your nail right I'm excited to show you all this hack because um, I've tested it a few times Okay, so the natural nails are all dehydrated with my alcohol wipe. I'm gonna go in and dehydrate them one more time. And I'm gonna use my dehydrator here. This one is from Gel and you can use any nail dehydrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and dehydrate them one more time. And this is just to make sure all the oils have been taken off from the nails, okay? Now that all of them have been dehydrated, I'm gonna go in with this gel base coat. I'm gonna apply this to all the nails, okay? And you just wanna apply a thin layer to each of the nails. And a little of this stuff goes a really long way. So I actually discovered this method um, from when I was doing like my full cover um, jelly tips. I do that a lot on my channel. It's just the easier way for me to have the perfect shape of nails that I want. So I discovered this method because sometimes my nails would pop off before I was ready to remove them. And this is a way that I would go in to do like a quick nail repair. I actually, I should have that video up already, and if I don't, um, I'll link it, leave it linked in the description. It's been cured for 60 seconds, and so y'all, the hack for this is going to be putting on a matte top coat, right? I know it's like, what, do you, what is that for? So the purpose of the matte top coat is to mimic what a dehydrated nail bed would feel and look like, right? So I was really excited when I, you know, discovered this method. Um, I was just playing around. So how I discovered this method is I was just playing around with different ways to um, have my full color gel jelly tips after I would do a set. Sometimes they would pop off prematurely. And so I, would, I played around with different ways of like how to keep, like stick them back on. So I would do my peel off base coat and super glue, that didn't work. I would do my peel off base coat with sticky tabs. That didn't work. I would do the peel off base coat and the sticky tabs. That didn't work. I would do super glue on my natural nail. Like those things would work, but they didn't work the way that I needed them to. I discovered with this method, I would do the peel off base coat and then I would do the matte top coat and then I would go in with super glue over top of the nail and then the super glue would allow for really good adhesion to the matte top coat and the peel off base coat. And then when I was ready to pop them off, they would just pop right on off. So I was really happy that I discovered this method. And yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds, okay? Do you all see how this mimics a dehydrated nail bed? So this is my natural nail that's been dehydrated, right? You all see how this mimics that exact same thing? I found that this method worked really good when trying to extend my nails when um, one, of the, one of the nails will pop off prematurely. So I thought this would be a great hack to try underneath an acrylic set. So we're gonna see how long my acrylic set lasts using this method. Um, I do have some super glue right now and I do have my full cover tips that I wanna use. I'm gonna be doing a square nail set. I'll leave the tutorial to that video linked down in the description box, but this is just the prep, right? So 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my tips here to all of the nails. I am gonna apply them with super glue. So I'm gonna just take some super glue here and apply it just to the inside of the, the well. I do have a link for this super glue down in the description. This stuff works really good, you guys. So apply a little bit of super glue. And I'm just gonna adhere the nail tip, okay, like so. And then I'm gonna press in on the sides to get it to lay flush to the nail. The nail tip is on, as you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails. All of the tips have been applied to the nails. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just kind of make um, where the tip um, attaches to my natural nail flush. I'm gonna do that with my e-file here. Okay, happy people. Since doing this video, I did discover that this step actually isn't necessary. Since you'll be going in with acrylic on top, um, that's gonna actually hide that bump where the tip meets the natural nail. So you all can skip this step if you would like. I finally got this tool, you guys, um, off of Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below, but it's supposed to be something that helps to for you to clip your nails and it catches everything on the other end. So I'm gonna go through, I'm going in with it at number six and I'm gonna clip all my nails to make them the same size. How easy is that? Okay, cool. So that's the length that I want my nails to be. And then I'm gonna just go through and buff the surface of the nail. So I have finished filing, shaping, and buffing these nail tips. And I'm just gonna dust off really quick. Okay, happy people. So this is what the final nails look like um, after the acrylic was applied. Now I wanna show you all how easy it was to remove these nails with using my rose peel off method. I am actually getting ready to take off my first ever acrylic set that I did. It has been exactly one week and the nails overall they held up pretty good i just finished doing dishes and because my hands were in warm water uh my index finger just popped off so i figured this would be a great time to go ahead and remove this set and move on to the next one um so that method for um using my so the method of using the alcohol an actual dehydrator my peel off base coat and my matte top coat all worked wonderfully so all of these items is what i use to prep underneath this particular set and then on top of that i just went on with my acrylic application and i was able to get exactly you know six and a half seven days of wear out of it so not mad at it at all and honestly if i wanted to i could probably have this set last a little bit longer as you can see on this hand here Minimal lifting, there's really big lifting on this, so that's gonna pop off any day now. Minimal lifting here, and this one, um, it had really bad lifting, kinda like the index finger, and it actually popped off already. I just went ahead and reapplied it with some super glue, just to you know, have a little bit more longevity. I got seven days out of wear out of it, but these two fingers were pretty loose at around day five. Um, I did learn two things since doing this method a couple of months ago. A few things that I did learn was that, one, to get the nails to last even longer, after you go in and dehydrate twice, you can actually go in with a nail primer and that will make the nails last even longer. Also, buffing the nail tip um, before application as well as um, making the nail flush to the natural nail isn't really necessary. I've done applications without doing those steps and my acrylic still lasted. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the rest of these off, okay? Y'all know I just kinda go underneath the nail. Since my hands were just, my hands literally just came out of hot water, so these are gonna come off really easily. Just pull right underneath here, and then the nail pops right off, as you guys can see. Super easy removal, okay? Just like that. And then this one I know gonna come off with like no problem. Actually, I probably don't even need to go under it, y'all can see. Yeah, it's just coming right off there. So that came off, okay? And then this one here, just gonna go underneath it, okay? Like so. 
and it pops right on off here okay <laughs> and then this one I don't think this one's gonna be as easy to remove because like I said I did go back in with that super glue so we will see here okay Let's see if I can get the lift a little bit Okay, so I was having difficulty getting this thumbnail off because I had literally just applied it with super glue the day before, but um, I did wanna just pop in and say that I am planning on doing an updated version of this video. This video is like four or five months old, and so I wanna show you all how I apply the nails now using primer and without buffing the nail tips. Without buffing the nail tips, I'm still able to get good adhesion of the acrylic as well as even longer wear with using the primer. So I'll be doing an updated video of my rose peel off method soon. So now you see me just rolling off that sticky residue that's remaining from the peel off base coat. And after that, I wanna show you all how I actually um, store my nail sets after I take them off. I'm still really enjoying using this Maran peel off base coat and seeing all the different ways that I can use it. This is what my nails look like. There's no damage to my natural nails. They're nice and healthy and I'm ready for my next set. This is also a Pac-Man set that I did um, a couple of months ago. I am going to leave the full tutorial for that linked in the description box as well. I've really been loving this hack that I discovered to be able to wear my nails for an extended period and still pop them off whenever I was ready. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye